right from our childhood till date we have been hearing consistently about moral values and virtues which are love compassion humility tolerance and so on out of these virtues if we talk about love i was thinking of how to put or apply this in our daily practical life exactly as the benefit from all these virtues can only be derived when we remove this massive gap created between theoretical knowledge and practicality today in this episode of soul vibes we will talk about self love and self healing i am bobby chima and i am richa han and kaji Bobby ji I am reminded of a story once Swami Vivekanand ji was delivering his speech and while addressing his audience he said I want reformers each and every person present there wanted to be a reformer so they all raised hands in response Vivekanand ji said I did not complete my sentence I want reformers who can reform themselves Most of the hands went down after hearing this. Hmm. It means the most important journey is the one which starts from within that is self. So if we want to understand out of all the virtues the most important yet scarce is love. I understand it this way that if we want to love others we need to love ourselves first. Do you mean self love? Exactly. Self love is as important as loving others. Richa ji, I am reminded of an example here that uh, when an aeroplane is to take off, we are instructed to put our own oxygen mask before we help others to wear it in case of an emergency. Similarly, we say this also that whatever I have in me or in store, I'll be able to give that only to others. So, If I have love only then I'll be able to love others. Very well Bobby ji. We have often heard people say you cannot pour from an empty vessel or only a charged object can charge other objects implying that before spreading love around it needs to be inside us first. To shed some more light on this topic self love we have Reverend Taruna Gandhi ji from Gurgaon with us. धन इनकार जी बॉबी जी धन इनकार जी रिचा जी आई एम रिमाइंडेड ऑफ कोट बाय द डिलाई लाम आर लिस्टिंग टू योर थॉट्स व्हिच गोज लाइक इफ यू डोंट लव योर सेल्फ यू कैन नॉट लव अदर्स यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू लव अदर्स इफ यू हैव नो कंपैशन फॉर योर सेल्फ यू आर नॉट कैपेबल ऑफ डेवलपिंग कंपैशन फॉर अदर्स एंड taking this further i often feel that when we talk of self love is there a moral dilemma are we talking of putting ourselves before others is it right for us to think of ourselves before we think of others but self love has to be taken on the spiritual plane and when we consider it on the spiritual plane we talk of self love being the self which is within us which is the divine within each one of us we all know that we have the divine we are housing the divine and we bow to the divine in each other why not first to yourself because we have to look within us and the heart that we talk of is actually the true self when we are connected with this heart the true self that is when the love starts flowing and when we see love flowing from us it's not restricted just to us but it starts spreading to others around us bringing happiness to them as well because after all it is about finding your happiness finding your own self worth i'm reminded of a story uh, that i read of a seagull the seagull was always wanting to explore the extraordinary he wanted to move out of his comfort zone that the gulls were used to and he did do that because he knew he was unique he knew he had a journey and a destination and he 
crossed all limits he crossed all barriers and he achieved the impossible and in spite of him being ostracized and exiled he still had love in his heart because he felt he needed to come back and teach others to fly like him that is how it is there is never any hatred in anybody you know the negative emotions of anger or greed these are just emotions which come when we are not connected to this almighty and we are not listening to our hearts that is why they say that you go within there is healing even if i look at a wound a common wound it starts healing from inside the skin forms later but the healing starts from within so the best way of actually exploring spreading happiness bringing happiness to others and first to yourself because you can only spread as you said rightly that you what you have you spread so that is only possible when i look within me and i improve myself and i transform from that physical to the actual soul that i am so that is my idea that this is how self love should be taken richa ji bobby ji so vibes amazing ji bobby ji how beautifully has sarana ji explained what self love actually is and what it is to be one with self let us be one from within and without let us heal ourselves to help heal the world perfectly said richa ji i also feel that whatever happens around us positive or negative if we are able to maintain our inner peace without getting disturbed because of that is also part of self love i agree bobby ji but don't you think when the circumstances are not favorable it almost becomes difficult to maintain that peace how does then self love help in maintaining that calm or that peace or that sahaj avastha well what happens is that for some it is difficult and for others it is very easy to do when we are not connected to our source everything becomes difficult on the other hand when we are connected with nankar with god it becomes easy and natural because this is virtue of soul and virtues are prominent when we are connected to our source ji let us continue with our divine discussion on self love after this beautiful devotional song if you love somebody who loves you what's so great in it greatness lies when you love somebody even if he doesn't love you There's a battle going on between love and hate why is the earth in an awful state There's a battle going on between love and hate why is the earth in an awful state It's our world we can put it right Let the vision of love become a sign It's our world we can put it right Let the vision of love become a sign It is a narrow sun shining brightly in the sky hate makes the tear drop which falls from one's eye love is the fragrance of the blooming rose hate is born of ego stop it before it grows Yes. 
Before the song, we were discussing about the concept of self-love. And when I talk about self-love, self-healing is also something which comes to my mind. And according to me, self-healing starts with self-love. Or rather, they go hand in hand. We often hear love is the panacea to everything. And hence here too, self-love heals all the wounds. Of course, yes. As we know, self-healing is required when there is hurt. However, at the same time, when we realize our true self, self-realization through God-realization, and we know that we have the ability to liberate ourselves from all the sufferings. So that is the point when the process of self-healing starts. This is where you stop blaming others for your situations and there is a graceful acceptance for whatever is happening around us. And then the entire focus is on what we started with, self-reform. Rightly said, I totally agree with you. So, to learn a little more about self-love, we have Samdarsh Nayarji with us from Gurgaon. Samdarsh ji, I would like to know from you that when we talk about self-love, we usually talk about improving ourselves every single day. What are your thoughts on this continuous process of self-improvement and not being stagnant in life? Richa ji, Bobby ji, I recall a prayer from my school days. Humko man ki shakti dena, man vijay kare, dusro ki jay se pehle, khud ko jay kare. So I always used to wonder whether I am listening it right or whether, you know, it means right. Because, you know, we have always learnt about service before self, that we serve others before we think about ourselves. But here we say, ki dusro ki jay se pehle khud ko jay kare. So I further dwelled into this and what I found is that this means that God give me the strength that I can conquer my mind, that I conquer myself so I can conquer everybody's hearts. And so as this prayer further reads, Bhed bhav apne dil se saaf kar sake, doston se bhool ho, to maaf kar sake, jhoot se bache rahe, sach ka dam bhare, dousaro ki jay se pehle khud ko jay kare. So, the emphasis here has been on the self that I have to forgive my friends, my family. I have to remove the barriers from myself, from my heart. So it is working on myself, it is I. As a poet has also said that your task is not to seek for love. Don't look for love outside, but simply seek and find the barriers within yourself that you have built against love. So when I demolish these barriers, these barriers of caste, color, religion, creed, race, so love is anyways flowing and my heart is open to accept, to receive and to reciprocate and to give back. And further, you know, I have been reading, you know, in, in fast few months, we all must have been, you know, like reading in the newspapers that many international sports people, they are not participating in key tournaments because they are citing reasons of lack of mental well-being. They are citing reasons of, you know, anxiety. And so it is very, very important that we also invest in ourselves. We invest in our own well-being, whether it is physical well-being, mental well-being, social well-being, emotional well-being, and most importantly, spiritual well-being. And we see that this is what our true masters have also been teaching us. Whether it was run for oneness, 
whether it is the, the cricket tournaments or whether you know we see the recent vichars of sadguru mata ji where the emphasis has been on tolerance and patience within the family and also a good social conduct with our neighbors with our society and only when we are ourselves healthy in every way when we are ourselves complete in you know every way can we contribute to the society only then will we be able to spread the message of our true master the message of oneness the message of love you know otherwise we would be a liability to the society and so once we are full of love that is what we will give back however it is very important to differentiate between self love and self obsession i should be able to understand that while i have to improve myself i do not build a cocoon or a comfort zone within which i remain i stay i am self centered i am selfish self pampered and i do not care about others and i dissolve myself of my responsibilities that should not be the meaning of self love self love means to give self love means to be so much full of love that i can give back the love to everyone and so this fine line i should not cross from self love to being self obsessed so vibes wonderfully put samdarshi we learned from you that self love means improving every aspect of our being and it helps us contribute back to the society even sadguru mata sudiksha ji maharaj mentioned that every single day we need to strive to be the best versions of ourselves it's so wonderful richa ji when i talk about the improvement journey bobby ji a lot of times we are faced with a dilemma like what is right and what is wrong which creates doubts in our lives and they somehow hamper our self love and self healing process these doubts which somewhere help us in self introspection but at the same point of time they should never overpower our self love journey well richa ji i think doubting yourself is perfectly normal it entirely depends on how you use it if it causes you to be consumed by a guilt then it won't serve any constructive purpose however doubting yourself leads to the purpose of introspection it may very well lead you towards self improvement and self improvement we surely know is nothing but self love only and also i am reminded of an incident what happened was i organized a function at my place and i invited most of my friends one friend of mine had gone home which was far off and in some other state she was supposed to reach one day prior to my function but she didn't come when i called her to to ask she just said that she couldn't come and did not tell me the reason i was upset and on the day of my function she kept messaging and calling me for half day and i did not respond then all of a sudden a thought came in my mind that i should not lose her uh, lose her friendship just for this small reason i thought of introspecting myself that i can also be wrong and i should ask her the reason that why she couldn't come and on asking she told me that her mother was sick and she was hospitalized such a beautiful example bobby ji it clearly shows how the process of doubting and introspecting helped you not lose such a dear friend of yours bobby ji now let's hear a little more on this beautiful topic of self love from reverend avnish dukal ji from delhi Dhanankar ji I happen to read some beautiful lines which go like Love is the water of life even a speck of love should not go unappreciated such is the beauty of love that all beings need it might sound a bit philosophical but that's the way it is I would like to quote a real life example a few days ago I had to travel along with my friend 
at 4 in the morning so the locality where i live has three gates two of which remain closed throughout the night and are opened at 5 am in the morning and these two are closer to my place so the night before i decided to request one of the security guards for opening the gate in the morning at 4 in the morning he said to me that his shift will get over in an hour and he won't be there in the morning at 4 also he told me that the new guard who will take his place is a stickler for rules and won't open the gate before 5 i got a bit worried after listening to him next morning i approached the new guard with all the love and humbleness in my heart and to my surprise he immediately agreed to my request at that moment it hit my mind that although i was using love as a tool to get the job done however the instantaneous effect of love startled me and here i would like to quote charlie chaplin the quote goes like you need power only when you want to do something harmful otherwise love is enough to get everything done so if love is the ultimate remedy then i believe it is good enough to bring any kind of change within us so i guess losing ourselves to love is the best we can do to win all that we have discussed so far regarding self love starting from what self love is the need to accept ourselves continuous improvement and self introspection this all might look like a lot of work and self love journey may even sound a bit difficult to start whereas when we talk about any area of spirituality effortless bliss is something which is always talked about for effortlessness to seep in our self love journey we need to make sure that there's a constant establishment of the soul's connection with the super soul that is nirankar exactly in fact this is not difficult at all if we take the light and learnings of our sadguru mata sudikshit ji maharaj at each and every step of our life as nankar is complete as sadguru is complete so is love we don't need to understand it what we have to do is we just have to be love and that is when we start flowing and as we have often heard in satsang ki humne is nirankar se judkar nirankar mai ho jana hai so now let us pray unto the holy feet of satguru mata ji that we are always connected to nankar and then this love will automatically flow through our whole being and eventually spread around with this we take your leave dhanankar ji dhanankar ji